Hey guys, welcome back. So this is the 95 F-150 that we flew across the country to go pick up and drive home. Uh, we had another video of our little travel uh, posted up here, so it, that's up. But I wanted to talk about this truck in general. Now, the color choice on it is very, very pretty. Uh, this is not a factory color. This is not a factory color. So this truck's been repainted top to bottom, front to back. <clears throat> It was painted okay. The paint looks really, really nice. It's shiny. It's glossy. Uh, you know, it's got your typical marks in it, scratches from the, you know, just the washing process, uh, living out in the desert, just normal wear and tear. There are some places on it that are ugly, and the truck photographs well. It shows well. It looks really, really good. It's nice and shiny. It's clean. It's no rust, but... We'll go around and look at this truck and really, really show you why it's amazing that you know, trucks like this are still out there. So this truck was built in 9 of 94, so it's 30 years old. And as far as I know, all the panels, at least on this side, are original to the truck. And the original tailgate, which is still date stamped, and I can show that to you. Uh, I do believe the front and rear bumpers were replaced at some point, which is no surprise given how people drive anymore. And most of the interior has been left alone. The door panels are, however, shot. But the dash still looks great, which is wonderful for me. And uh, yeah, that's about all I can say about condition-wise. But really, we're going to show this truck to you. That way you can really see that, you know, if somebody had a truck that was taken care of, so this truck was owned by an older gentleman before I bought it. Uh, the guy that I bought it from was in the middle there. He didn't have it real long, didn't drive it a whole lot. I think he put maybe 5,000 miles on it in the fact matter of 10 years. Uh, the guy barely drove it, but the guy before him put a pile of miles on it. I don't know if he bought it new or if he bought it secondhand. But I uh, do have receipts in here for this truck, which is really, really cool. Uh, just, you know, you can see a little bit of history of the truck. It has a rebuilt transmission, um, and it's had some stuff done to it. You know, it's had, you know, engine work done to it as far as maintenance items and so on and so forth, which is great. Uh, you know, alignments and new tires, and it's just, it's nice to see a truck like this still available to be purchased in 2024. But going to go ahead and show you this truck that way you can really see the condition of it and see that you know that it's nice to have trucks like this now we were going to do a lot of other stuff with this truck but uh, i think we're just going to keep it the way that it is and just do the typical changes and you know just try to clean it up and make it a nice survivor truck so to speak so let's get at it all right so you can see there's some hazing in the paint which is no surprise but not too, too bad. There is a run in the middle of the hood that's a little hard to see, which doesn't make sense to me. I don't know how you get a run in the middle of the hood, but you do. Truck's really, really straight and clean. Uh, has one little ding right here. It's a little hard to see. Kind of see the reflection of it there. But really, really clean on the outside. Inside is equally clean. Like I said, the door panels are hosed. Uh, instead of putting Christmas trees back on there, they just kind of put new screws in through weird places. Top of the panel's been painted, and uh, this does not stay in anymore. They rewrapped the steering wheel, which I thought was interesting. Um, you know, I really don't like it, but it's not bad to use. It's comfortable. I mean, it doesn't look bad. It doesn't leave your hands getting black. So I think we're probably just going to leave the odd gray wrapped steering wheel. No tack in this truck, which is also very strange. Uh, I figured a, a truck of this uh, trim level would at least have a tack, but does not, which it's whatever. And we also went ahead and put in a uh, dual floating screen radio. Now, this thing was wonderful for the trip, and uh, it was great because we, we used it for our navigation purposes and our radio and everything. So that was really, really nice. 
So we had that put in. We also changed out the speakers. This door panel is also shot. It's cracked on the top really. There's also no airbag stickers on either side of this visor. So I'm not sure if these visors were ever replaced or if they were recovered, but uh, they're a little strange for me. Back seat looks good. It's a little dusty, could use a good cleaning. And uh, the console is in good condition as well. No marks on it or anything like that. A little bit of wear on the seat here, nothing to really complain about. A little bit of wear up here and over on this side, but for uh, 189,000, we're almost 190 here. Can't really complain about the inside of this truck. It's it's comfortable, it's quiet, it's nice, and uh, it should stay nice for a long time. Now, I had said about this truck being painted. You can see your color change from here into the door jam here. It's really, really evident down here. You can see we are blue on this side and uh, the sapphire here in the middle. So that's the original color of this truck here. And it did have the gray stripe in it factory. So, you know, if you look at the VIN sticker, it'll have the gray stripe code for it. So it is a deluxe two-tone truck, but obviously repainted. Now they also painted all of the trim and you can see that there's marks in the actual trim itself. So they actually painted the middle of this like a bright, bright silver, and then painted the outside of the trim, the gray color of the middle, which was interesting. From, you know, 10 feet away, it looks good. It doesn't look bad until you get right up close to it. And like I said, it had a cheap, cheap paint job because they just painted right over the sticker. Same thing in the back. Just painted right over the sticker. So, don't know who painted it, but uh, yeah, they didn't do a very good job, even though the uh, color looks really, really nice. So back around the back here, you know, they also didn't do the gray onto the tailgate like they should have, but that's neither here nor there. So it does have a snug top on it. And it is not carpeted on the bottom, which is fine. However, the inside of the bed has a very cheap liner put in it, but not onto the tailgate. And then it looks like they resprayed this purple. Um, not sure why it was resprayed, but you can tell it was resprayed because you can see there's a uh, paint ledging on all of this. It was probably just worn off and they just wanted to touch it up. So it's also missing the rubber gaskets here. These weren't here in later trucks, but the earlier trucks had these. So you can see the, the push pin rivets here. So there's no gaskets there. I'm going to have to get some to put in there. And another thing about this truck is it has the stainless steel caps and the one in the front on the top. Those are super hard to come by. And I was really excited when I saw these on this truck because this truck is kind of an oddball and it having the cover. And then also these caps is wonderful because you can't buy these caps anymore and they look fantastic on this truck. They also add a nice little place for the sealed rub and just continues to look nice. Now I was talking about the date stamp on the tailgate and that is right here. So you can see that says eight of 94 right here, eight of 94. Now you can also see some spray overspray here. So like I said, they didn't do a very good job painting the truck, but this tells you this is the original tailgate. It was had a build date of 9 of 94. So the tailgate was stamped 8 of 94. So it was made the month prior to being installed on the truck. So you can see this side of the truck is very, very straight, which is wonderful. Don't mind my mess over here. Uh, this is all stuff for another project that's a little heavy, so it sucks to move it around. And then you can see the uh, crack in the, in the door panel right here. But I'm pretty sure the door panels were painted as well as the dash. So I'm pretty sure it has an aerosol paint or paint matching spray on it. Uh, it doesn't quite look like it's a factory type of finish. It just has a different look to it. 
but uh, doesn't look bad at all. And you can see, once again, the uh, drywall screws are apparent over here as well. So we're going to end up changing these panels out, but that's, that's no big deal. And then we got this whole book of uh, papers to go with it. So that's our maintenance records. So this truck's very, very clean and very straight. So uh, going through the paperwork, we did find out that this door was replaced. It is a factory shell, OEM. This cab corner section was replaced from about here all the way down. And this whole bedside was replaced. And when you look underneath it, and we'll show that to you, we can show you some signs on what to look for uh, whenever you're trying to see if a truck has been modified or replaced. It's a little hard to see here, but you want to basically look at the spot welds. And uh, I can probably show them to you up here. A little hard to see, but uh, get you the light here. You can see the spot welds right here. See how they're very dimpled in? All right, so I'll go on the other side and show you what a factory spot weld looks like. So these aren't factory spot welds, but you also can't buy this large of a quarter anymore. And at the time, you could only buy a full panel quarter from Ford. So the fact that uh, this whole panel, for the most part, has been replaced says that that is a Ford panel because reproductions weren't made for the whole panel like that. So... We'll get this thing up in the air and uh, show you what else you can look for to see if anything else has been replaced on here. But it's a pretty clean truck. I'm really happy with it. The body looks really, really nice. But let's get her up in the air for you. So we got it up in the air here, and uh, we'll just start at the front. You know, the truck has had some suspension parts replaced. We have records of that, which is great. And you can see that the front here is still nice and clean. And then uh, the side over here is still super clean. A little bit of surface rust, which is no surprise. Uh, there's no coatings on these frames from the factory, which is kind of nice. And then you can see up here that the engine actually doesn't have any leaks maybe a little bit of wetness there but nothing crazy and uh, can't really complain about that however we see there's a little bit of green right here so we have been fighting a little bit of a cooling issue with this truck and it almost looks like the timing cover may be leaking up here so for 190,000 miles I can't really say too many too many bad things about it uh, we do know the water pumps been replaced so that could be some of our issue there but this truck does have a factory oil cooler on it, which is kind of unusual. Don't see that too often on these trucks. So back under here, you see a little bit of uh, wetness here from the drive. So we'll have to uh, just sit down and look. Looks like we've got a little bit of an oil leak here, which is nothing crazy. Maybe a little bit around the oil pan, but can't really uh, say too many bad things about it. So, you know, 190,000 miles. The exhaust still looks good. Looks like we might have a little bit of a coolant leak there, judging by that, or it could be oil burning off. But this is the first time I've been underneath this truck yet. So we got some inspection things to do here, but very, very clean otherwise. I mean, you just don't see trucks like this where I live. You know, the brake line still is even clean and the frame inside of the frame is still kind of glossy, which is pretty wild. So back here, same thing. Really, really clean. Nothing stands out to be an issue. Rear end is nice and clean. No, uh, no issues with that. Shocks are replaced a little bit older. Probably going to end up replacing them. 
but very, very nice and clean under here, which is what we like to see. Factory rear tank here, unpainted. We did drop the spare out in case we needed it. We weren't be messing with it on the way home, but nice and clean inside here. And uh, I've never actually had a spare tire where you could just uh, unthread the bolts that hold it up by hand, which is what we did, which is wonderful. So back of the uh, bumper here, you can see the uh, sticker there says Las Vegas. So I do know that this bumper uh, was replaced. There was a, a sheet on this bumper being replaced. I don't know if this is a factory bumper or not, but it's not that nice as far as uh, chrome goes, but it's a good bumper if you need a bumper. You can see there's not even any rust back here other than your typical surface rust. When I had said that we had panels replaced, this bedside's been replaced. This bedside's been replaced, but you can't really tell. Uh, they did a really, really good job on it. So the guys that did do this did wonderful. The only thing we're probably going to do is put some oil down in here because with this being a, a new joint, it's going to have um, no paint or any protection in between there. So we're going to go ahead and mess with that. But this is a good place to look at these spot welds. You can see how these spot welds are very large. They're probably about a quarter inch in diameter. And they're very, very flat. They're not really dimpled. So that's a factory spot weld. And then we had said that this cab was pulled on this side. We had a different uh, cab corner put on. And you can see the spot welds back here and up around the very edge there. You can see that those are not factory. So there's a little bit of... Um, uncleanness, I guess you could call it there. So we're going to definitely get some oil put in there, make sure that that doesn't cause us any problems. And you can see there's a little bit of buckling up there where they had to pull this cab out a little bit, but it doesn't show um, any issues, any showing. You can't tell that any of this was done to this truck. And then you can see these dimpled spot welds here on the bottom again, where they are uh, not that small little uh, washer looking. It's like very, very flat and dimple, or very, very flat and round, whereas these are a lot more dimpled and pointy. So that's how you can tell that this cab corner was replaced. But it was replaced properly, which is nice. And then it's even got a, a new inner fender liner here. And you can see a little bit of uh, oil that has shown up from our travels, which is not a big deal at all. So we see a little bit of peeling up there and a little bit of wrinkling here. But Nothing major, and we'll show you the other side to compare. So you can see there's still a little bit of wrinkling in this corner. That's your factory wrinkle there, but uh, a lot cleaner in this corner. You can see that there's no issues there. There's, there's actually seam sealer in there. And here you can see your uh, dimples, how they're almost non-existent. They're very, very hard to see there. But the body's super clean on this truck. You know, this is just something you don't see here, and uh, it's really, really wonderful. But something else here, you can see these radius arm bushings. You can see how you can see more of the top than the bottom. So we're going to end up getting into replacing some bushings on this truck. Uh, definitely going to be doing the radius arm bushings. You can see that this one has either been replaced or not replaced, but it's definitely different. So we'll probably just replace them both. So we'll get those replaced as well and possibly look into uh, trying to figure out uh, any other leaks on here. Uh, it's not enough to cause a drip whenever we're driving or sitting somewhere. So I'm not too concerned about that little bit of an oil leak, but the uh, truck has been very, very solid. It's nice. Brakes are good. It's even got the dust shields and the splash shields on the rotors over here. Uh, you know, we don't see those here in the uh, Northeast very much. It's even got the factory ground strap on there. And you can see that there's some heavy cracking in the uh, bushing here. So we're probably going to end up putting cab mounts in here. Probably do the S&B cab mounts on this truck. Uh, just to make sure that, uh, you know, we get a good ride out of it. And there's a little bit of sagging going on. You can see that this bushing isn't too, too bad up here. Uh, the rear ones you can't really see because they're above the 
fuel tank here. However, you can see this one up here, you know, it's got some cracking. Uh, it's probably starting to fail. It looks like it's a little bit squished more than it should be. So uh, cab mounts are probably going to be a must on this truck, but uh, not going to be something that it's going to need done. And you can even see here that the uh, exhaust hanging bracket is even still gold anodized from the factory. It doesn't even have any surface rust on it, which is amazing to me. But they did put a new cat on this truck at some point. So the cat has been replaced. Uh, effectively, not wonderfully, but uh, it is replaced. So we don't have to worry about that. And it even still has the factory heat shielding on the muffler here, which is crazy. So it's nice to, to have uh, the ability to buy a truck like that's in this condition and uh, have it last. So we're going to go over this truck ourselves and uh, make sure that it doesn't need anything since it's up here on the lift. But wanted to give you guys a once over on this truck, show you that there are still uh, 30 year old trucks out there that are available to purchase and uh, still look pretty clean, pretty nice, even though this one's been uh, painted pretty poorly. It's still been painted and it doesn't look bad at all. I mean, it's a good driver. It's definitely a truck that we could turn around and save and try to make sure that it lasts a long, long time. You know, even up in here, it's nice and clean. You know, there's no signs of rust or anything like that, which is wonderful. So we're going to go ahead and uh, take care of this truck and do some other stuff to it, do some maintenance items, nothing crazy. I mean, you can see that it's got the lowering shackles back here, but that's all it really needs. It doesn't need any more lowering for this area. It looks good the way it sits, but thanks for watching this guys. Wanted to show you this truck firsthand, uh, let you know that, you know, you, if you're filling up to it and you have uh, some good friends, they can uh, get a truck for you. Make sure that you're set up really well and uh, get you moving. So we got the truck set down here on the ground show you how clean it is under here which is pretty crazy it's a little dusty but everything is beautiful and we even got our bypass valve here that uh, anthony sells so we can uh, do some testing on this once it's a little bit warmer out but it's done wonders for the trip home uh, it's a max ac valve that he sells a kit for the only thing we had to do to this truck was we had to bypass the throttle body coolant uh, the hose was leaking and instead of bypassing it or replacing the hose and causing another leak we just ran the hose down here to the thermostat manifold down there and we ran it up to the crossover so we don't have to uh, worry about an extra leak for the cooling system on the way home there and then we have a new ac system in this truck that anthony put in for me bought him all the parts he put it in so we had a nice air conditioning system for the way home and then he also did the cruise for us since the cruise wasn't done on this truck but very, very clean truck. You can see down through here, you can see that the frame is nice and clean. You can kind of see the manifold here. And just, it's crazy that this truck is as nice as it is for as old as it is. You know, it's even got the paint still on the uh, core support here. No rust in the front, gold anodized still on the hinge, which is pretty crazy. The only things we're fighting with this truck is the heating system doesn't work real, real well, which is no surprise because the truck did live in Las Vegas. So uh, it's the land of the sun, basically. So it's always warm there. I mean, it does get cold, but not very often or, and not for very long. So this truck's heater doesn't work fantastic, but uh, could be something to do with this brass radiator that it's got here, a copper radiator, whatever you'd like to call it. Uh, it's definitely not factory. It's definitely a uh, bigger radiator in this truck, which is kind of nice, but uh, it might be too much for this uh, area that we live in here, but we'll see what happens. But we had that little cool leak we found down there, which is uh, something we're gonna have to look into. Not a big deal, but shouldn't be too much of a problem. Other than that, the cruise doesn't work in this truck. So we're gonna diagnose that in another day. Uh, we did do some diagnosis on it when we were out there in uh, Arizona. So I gotta do some more diagnosing on it. I uh, did find out that the third brake light was burned out, but we did change that and we still don't have crews. So we're going to look into that some more later. 
But there it is. Uh, you know, we took this truck and drove it just uh, shy of 2,500 miles. I had never driven it before then. So uh, a huge thank you to Mike and Anthony who took care of me out in Arizona. They picked this truck up for me, uh, did all the paperwork, did all the running around, and uh, did a lot of the repairs. So he put an idler pulley in it, a belt, the air conditioning system, his bypass valve. Uh, they helped put the fuel pumps in with me or for me, whichever you'd like to say. Uh, we have videos on that as well and the uh, problems that it also arose. But uh, also had it, new tires on out there so that we had new tires to run home with. Uh, didn't want to run the you know, 13, 14 year old tires that were on it. So got new tires put on it for us. And when we got home, uh, we obviously had to put a new windshield in it, which we ended up finding a, a OEM Ford windshield. So it's got a nice new windshield on it and passed inspection, put a new set of wipers on it, changed the antenna out because it had a very strange antenna on it and did an oil change. Then drove it home. So, I mean, realistically, we did nothing to it except for your general maintenance items, which is something you should do any time before you go to a long trip. So the tires, the oil change, you know, check the wipers, check the windows, make sure everything works. So, um, yeah, it's been a great truck. Does good on fuel, drives down the road nice, needs a couple little things here and there. But, hey, has 190000 on it just about, and uh, it's almost 30 years old. So I can't really complain about it. So, but yeah, these trucks are still out there. And uh, hopefully we're going to try to pick up another one here. And maybe we can just keep picking them up, try to preserve these trucks instead of bringing them home and tearing them apart just for their parts. So uh, thanks guys for watching. I really appreciate it. And I hope that you enjoy seeing our little adventures and our trips and uh, any maintenance items that we do to these trucks. So please subscribe to the channel. And uh, if you need anything done, a video on you, you can always ask and hopefully you enjoy them. So thanks for watching, guys, and we'll catch you on the next one.